Hey, what's going on guys? It is Darren, and today we're going to be doing an Amazon review on the, I think it's like an outdoor utility walking stick thing. Um, so I've already opened it because I totally forgot that I wanted to do this, especially after the last one I had, which um, I don't know what I did with. All right, honestly, yeah, I have no idea where it is right now. So it's going to come in this. Now open it. There's going to be a piece of plastic here. Now open it. Obviously, it's going to be wrapped in plastic. There's your sheath. Just after a day of having it on my side, that started to happen. Open it. There it is. And, um, yeah. This is, uh, it's not a walking stick. This is very much a weapon. So, for those of you who don't know, this is an expandable baton. For some reason, it is illegal for the average civilian to own these. Um, more than likely, due to the fact that if you hit someone in the head with this, you could kill them. You hit someone in the side of the neck, the front of the neck, the back of the neck, you will paralyze them or kill them. Um, this is, it's very easy to break someone's wrist bone. So, if you're in an engagement, let's say they have a knife, or for some reason they have a gun, you don't have a gun, they're very close to you and you can, you know, already get your hands on this thing and as soon as you extend it, bring it in and hit them right, you know, in their wrist with whatever hand they're holding the gun with, you're probably going to break that wrist. Are they going to shoot you before you make contact? Maybe. Hopefully they don't hit you fatally. Even if they do hit you, fa hit you fatally, congratulations, you've stopped a criminal. Unfortunately, you risked your life for it. Possibly even lost your life for it. So, these things are actually very, very useful. They're very, very potent. Um, there's also a martial arts fighting style. I don't remember the name of it. It is from the Philippines, and it's basically, you fight with sticks. And this is about the size stick they usually use. Now, just for reference, it's about the size of my arm from here all the way up so I mean that's it's a pretty good size so um, yeah this is very effective this is a very good one I'm gonna like trying to close it like this you can't like I'm be honest that hurts <laughs> that hurts a lot so it's very hard to close this on carpet for the sake of demonstration, I'll grab the screwdriver here. Um, it's a very old screwdriver. I don't know what it's made out of. I know the body of it is steel, but... Not very good with my left hand, guys. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't! Don't say it! That's what she said. <laughs> you can hear that smack. You know I'm hitting it hard, and this thing is not collapsing. There we go. I got the first level. So, yeah. It's not an instrument. Um. Um. So you got to put some force into it to close this thing. Um. Now I have a complaint. Number one, this unscrews. So every time I close this, this does back off a little bit. I'm probably going to hit it with some Loctite, just to keep that from happening. Which, for those of you who don't know, it's just like plumber's tape. You know what plumber's tape is. Uh, second thing is, this is the rubber handle. That gap wasn't there when I got it. And it's actually sliding up a little bit, covering the tip of this. So sometimes when you close it, it's not going to close all the way. But just for demonstration, I mean... I've seen people twist their elbows and throw their elbows and their shoulders out of whack trying to open these things. Now, if I try to open, open it like an amateur who just got this and has no idea what they're doing, like I'm throwing it like a baseball at this point and that's what I got out of it. <laughs> like a full force sling in this thing, but really what you want to do is you want to do a flicking motion out to the side. So it's not like a full-on throw, it's just trying to use just this part, just 
and you'll hear that nice click clack success hope you guys enjoy it this is well worth thirty dollars especially because you can't order it from bud k right now